Hey there, I'm Tara Shane with ID8 TV and I'm here with Dr. Harry Clure. So you have three PhDs you just told me. No, two. You have two PhDs, okay. In physics and chemistry. And chemistry. That's in, how did you find all the time to do that? <laughs> uh, well, uh, I mostly use time travel, so I get 48 hours out of every day. Okay, well I'm really glad somebody invented it. <laughs> <laughs> if you could give one piece of advice to um, to people out there, you said who are you know, aspiring to be creative and you want to pe tell people to utilize their day and every moment of it, what's maybe a piece of advice you could give to them to sort of help do that? Uh, I'd say that if you have a goal, you need to actuate it. So you can't just, if, if you have a goal and you're not doing anything uh, towards that goal, you're really just daydreaming. So every day, set aside some time. It, I don't care even if it's five minutes, but every single day you should be working on your dream. You should be working on what you want to do. Because yeah. otherwise it's not really a goal. Mm -hmm. And what most people do is they're afraid of failing and missing their goal. Mm -hmm. So they, uh, they just say tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah. So my advice is don't wait for tomorrow. Do it now. Do it for five minutes, do it for an hour, do it for whatever amount. Otherwise, it's not a, it's not really a goal. It's not a dream. That's really great advice. <laughs> so you are, you wrote, direct, and are producing a movie that you just finished, right? Yeah. So I just wrote, co-directed, and produced uh, Quantum Quest. That is a lot to do on one film. <laughs> well, it was a passion. It was a dream. So it's a science fiction film. It has two Captain Kirks, two Darth Vaders, two Jedi Knights, and Neil Armstrong. So. Hey, that's a dream right there. Yeah, this is going to be like the craziest movie ever. <laughs> it is, and it's uh, it's entertaining. It's for everyone from uh, you know, I say it's from eight to eighty. That's what. The Can you tell us a little bit about the what the movie's about? It's about an atomic adventure in outer space. So it's about a photon played by Chris Pine, who's the new Captain Kirk, who is forced out of the sun to try to save the Cassini Huygens spacecraft, which is around Saturn. And along the way, we actually get to see the real surfaces of Mercury and Venus and Mars and we actually get taken down to the surface of a Titan where there are oceans and lakes of methane gas for real this is this is what science has discovered yeah wow that's really <laughs> this is gonna be a really cool movie when can we expect to see it well uh, hopefully uh, it will uh, hit theaters uh, uh, next uh, winter or it'll appear on TV it's an independent so mm -hmm. we, who knows where it's gonna land so can you tell me a little about, I know you were talking about some of uh, the diversity projects that you were involved in. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Sure. So right now I'm doing a move. My next project is uh, Virginia, based on Virginia Walden's life. Mm -hmm. So she was a single mom in Washington, uh, D.C. And uh, she uh, uh, struggled to get her kid a better education. And she ended up going through an eight-year struggle uh, and creating a school choice in Washington, D.C., a federally funded program. And... The kids who've gone through a program have a 90% graduation rate versus, say, 56% for state school. Mm -hmm. And so that's a very diverse movie. Yeah. What did you think of some of the performances side tonight? I thought they were fabulous. Yeah. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great program, and, and this event is great, and it's a, it's a great thing for, to be supporting the arts.